Are you tired of spending hours crafting presentations that don't impress your audience? In this video tutorial, we will show how to do it using Tome AI presentation tool. First let's discuss few important items you need to be familiar with. Let us log into Tome presentation tool first. First thing I want to show you is how you can upgrade. Initially, when you create an account, Tom will give you 500 credits. If you start creating presentations, you will be requiring more credits than that. For that reason, you will be upgrading your account. The upgrade option is available in multiple places in Tom. First, you can see you can upgrade from here, right from your home page. Once you click on upgrade, it will take you to the plans page. In addition to that, you can click on your name and then the settings. Once you are in the settings area, you have this members and here under this allowed domains, you have option to upgrade. You can also upgrade by going to your workspace name. Once you click on your workspace name, if you want to use your own logos, then you need to upgrade to pro. You can upgrade from here. And if you want to get rid of Tom branding, you will need to have a pro version. Here you can use the upgrade button to get the pro version. Once you click on the upgrade version, it will take you to the plans page. Now we will see how we can generate a presentation from a document. For example, if you have a Word document and you have matter there that you want to generate a presentation for that matter. Let me click on the create button here. You have an option here, document presentation. It's in beta version. Click on that one. So it is asking you to paste a text from a document. I have my document here. I go to my document. I copy the text that I want. Come back to my presentation. And here you can see it requires at least 500 characters to be entered so that the presentation can be generated. This generate button will be active only when they are at the minimum 500 characters in this area. I typed in this is an example. Since the number of characters is less than 500, you don't have this generate button active. So we cannot generate the presentation. I'm going to get rid of that and then paste the document. Here you see I have pasted this. I click on the generate button to create the presentation. You can see Tom is creating presentation now. You can see it has generated five slides for the American history. We can click through the slides. It is just basic text it has generated. So if you are satisfied, we can click on this keep icon. If you want to try again, we can click on this try again button. In my opinion, it is not doing a good job as the presentation generated is not much useful. Besides, it is not generating any images also. Normally, when you create a presentation, Tom will generate images automatically. That we are going to see in the next example. It is still in beta version. The feature is still evolving so it might become better over time let me go back here and then we'll create a new presentation i will click on the create icon so i have the prompt that i can type in i am going to type my prompt here i have already copied my prompt i'm going to paste it here the prompt reads how is ai transforming various industries and sectors i hit enter you can see tom is creating an outline let us click on continue button to create the presentation we can see tom has generated eight slides and it is also generating images. So we can see the difference now between the presentation generated now and the previous presentation that was generated from the document. Presentation looks good to me. I will click on this keep icon. Now we will see how we can record a narration. We have this icon here that says record narration. We can add our own voice using this narration. Let me click that. We can also use the camera. Right now I am not using the camera. I just want to record my voice. I click on this record. Conclusion. In conclusion, we have seen how AI is transforming various industries such as healthcare, finance, manufacturing and transportation. This was just to demo how we can record the narration. I will stop recording here. That's how you can record a narration. Let us now play it back and hear our narration. Click on the play icon here. It is showing here tap to play narration. I am going to click on this. Conclusion. In conclusion, we have seen how AI is transforming various industries such as healthcare, finance, manufacturing and transportation. This was just to demo how we can record the narration. I will stop recording here. Now let us look at few tile settings that were not covered in the previous videos. We can access the tile settings by clicking on this plus icon. We are going to cover the web link and the framer tile settings now. In order to use the web link tile setting, let me add a new page here. I'm typing in web link example. Click on this plus sign and then I drag and drop 
the web link icon into my slide so it is asking me to paste a web link here i will paste foxnews.com i have copied the link and then i'm going to paste it here you can see now the foxnews.com website is being displayed here one thing we need to make sure is that the website that we are going to allows this connection some websites may not allow hence you will not be able to display them here now let us see how we can use the framer tile settings for that i will add another new page i'm going to type in framer tile example click on the plus sign here and then drag and drop framer icon here framer is an interactive design tool for websites and prototyping it excels at building entire marketing sites we can build landing pages online campaigns it also supports every part of the design process from visual mockups to interactive prototypes and it has unique strength in publishing directly from the canvas i just used free framer template to publish a website for demonstrating framer link here is the demo i'm just copying this link this is done in framer let us go back to our tom presentation and then paste the link here you can see that page is appearing here the framer page is appearing here once you are done creating your presentation you can share it in multiple ways you hit the share icon here and then there are access levels here that you can change you can type in the email name of a person that you want to share this with and you can control the access you can give can play can comment can edit and full access full access gives everything and also here you can change the workspace access level you can say workspace has full access and also you can also control if you send a link to somebody how much access they have with that link for example you can say no access or they can play you can also copy the current page you can click on this copy link and the entire presentation can be copied or you can copy just this specific page by clicking this one this will generate a link to the current page only i unchecked it so that whole presentation link can be generated here you have an option to also scan the qr code so it has generated a qr code that you can use and you can click on this copy link button to copy this link presentation and for example if we want to use that one it's already copied paste it here it is displaying me the presentation i x out here and i click on this again suppose for example i want to send this to an email id i can type in the email id here and then click on this email will be sent to that email id you can see here that email has been sent to the id that we used earlier so they can click on this view tom and be able to see the presentation that we sent the same presentation is being displayed here let me x out of here you can also export your presentation to a pdf file but that needs a pro subscription you can do so by clicking on these three dots and then here you have an option export to pdf but it requires pro version subscription hope you got value out of this video if you have any questions or suggestions please let us know in the comment section below thank you